Hey guys, Dub Cubing here, and today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to solve the 4x4 parodies. <laughs> Okay, so the first parody that I'm going to be talking about is the last layer case, which is when you're about to solve the cube, you have your last algorithm for PLL, but then you realize, what the heck, why is there this here? And you see there's two sides solved, but there's still this, like we were looking for. Usually, you're looking for another open window right here, but you don't see that there. So I'm going to be going ahead and show you how to solve this. So I'm going to put the algorithm right here, might be a little long but it's very easy to memorize so it's gonna say R L but really you're not gonna be doing actual R you're gonna be moving these inner wedges like this the left one so it's gonna say L but it's still gonna mean the inner one so don't move the actual thing but I'm gonna have U, and that actually means U. but it's also gonna have you move the inner wedge as well Okay, so this started. So first you're gonna wanna hold it. Anyway, really, it doesn't matter. You're gonna do this. So you're gonna move the right wedge up twice, so. Okay, then you're gonna move the top layer twice. Then you're gonna move the right wedge up twice. And then you're gonna move both layers twice. Then you're gonna move the R up again. You're gonna move the top, and then both. And there you go, you have it to the case that you should like it to be. So an easy way to remember that case is pretty much the only thing you move is the right and the top. So you gotta remember is R, up, R, double up, R, up, double up. That's pretty much it. By double up, I mean both two layers. So that's the easiest um, parity to solve out of the 4x4, four four. so I'm going to go ahead and show you the next case. Okay, so this is known as the OLL parity. Now usually you'll get this after you just finished finishing these three layers, and then you go to solve the top cross and the whole top OLL. And then you realize, what the heck, why isn't the cross solving? Well, that's because you have a parity, OLL parity. So this is just one way it may look like. It may look like tons of other ways. So this one is the hardest. It, it has quite a bit of moves. This one I'm actually not gonna put up here. I'm actually gonna be putting it down in the description just because it's really long. So here's the way I remember. So it's once again, it's moving the inner, inner wedges. So if you're gonna move the right wedge, that means you're gonna be moving only the top. You're not gonna be moving any other places. If you, move, if you move the right wedge, that means you're going to move only the top. Now if you move the left wedge, you're only going to move the front. And the front's only going to be front. Not going to be F prime, which is at front counterclockwise. It's only going to be normal front. Same thing with the top. It's only going to be U, not U prime. So let's get started. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to move the right down, the left down, and you're going to bring the left up. Remember, every time you move it, you're going to have to move the top. So it's going to go... R prime U2. You're always going to move the top or the front twice. Okay. Now L F2. Okay. Then you're now you're going to move the L up, left side up. F2. Then you're going to bring the right side up. So this is the next part. So the what you're going to do is going to be moving R2, you're going to move the right up twice, and then you're going to move the top twice. Then you're going to move the right up again, move the top twice, bring the right back down, move the top twice. So this only moves, this step is only of the, the, the right side. So it's going to move going. So it's going to go R2, U2, R, U2, R prime, U2. Okay, so now that that's done, what you're, all you're going to do is you're going to move the front twice. I know you didn't move the left layer, but you're just going to move it twice. What that's going to do is going to help align the colors. 
So now, not moving both layers, you're gonna go ahead and move the right wedge twice, once again. And you're not gonna move the, you should already know what to do by now. You know that you're, if you move the top, it's not gonna do anything. All you have to do is move the front twice, which as you see, completed your parody. Thanks for watching my 4x4 tutorial on how to solve the parody. If you don't understand anything or need extra help, just leave a comment below what you don't get. And I'll try to help you out as much as possible, even make you your own video to help you out. So make sure to come on in tomorrow and Saturday to watch future Fridays and session Saturdays. And I'm probably going to be uploading um, a couple of reviews between then. I'm also, I also have a really cool video that I've been working on. It should be up by tomorrow or Saturday. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you later.